cook. Welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, want you to come and play. Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. Ben's out in the garden picking ripe apples from the tree. They're ready to eat. We're going to make apple pie. Yummy, my favourite. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, goody. Let's have a look at all those lovely ripe apples. I bet you picked loads. <laughs> um, show me, show me. Uh... Let's have a see how many you've got in your basket. <laughs> but it's empty. I don't understand. I'm sure they're all ripe and ready to pick. Well, they are. It's just... I'm afraid of the apple tree. Afraid of the apple tree? But what has the apple tree ever done to you? I don't understand. Well, sometimes when you go to pick them, they fall on their own and I'm afraid they might hurt me, you know. One apple, ooh, two apple, oh, three apple, ah! <laughs> ooh, well, then we do have a problem, don't mm. we? All the apples are ripe and ready to pick, but we can't pick them. How are we going to make apple pie? I don't know, but I do know I'm not going near that apple tree. Aha! A customer! We'll have to worry about the apple tree later, Ben. Oh, OK, then. Oh. I'm on my way! Woohoo! <laughs> And who's our customer today, Small? Oh, he's so shiny. A shiny man? <laughs> Not a shiny man, Ben. A man in a shiny suit of armour. It's Norman the Knight. A knight in armour? Yes, on a horse. Horsey, horsey, don't you stop. Just let your feet go clippity-clop. Your tail goes swish and your wheels go round. Giddy up, we're homeward bound. <laughs> so what are we going to cook for Norman the Knight? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. This adventure took place long ago and far away, when I was lucky to meet a knight in shining armour. Norman the knight was looking very puzzled, so I asked him what the problem was. Well, said the knight, the problem is that it is my job to rescue people in trouble, and I'm very good at it. But today is different. When I asked what was different, the knight just pointed to a great big tower in front of him. And there at the top of the tower was a lady called Rapunzel. The problem is, Norman the knight continued, I haven't got a ladder. Poor Rapunzel had been stuck up the tower for years, put there by a wicked witch. I offered to help, but I'm not very big. So even when the knight stood on my back, he still couldn't reach. We tried all kinds of things. Trampolines. Seesaws. And swinging ropes. None of them worked. Then I had a brilliant idea. You see, I'd noticed that Rapunzel's hair had grown very, very long while she'd been stuck in the tower. So I shouted up to her. Rapunzel! Rapunzel! Let down your hair! She couldn't hear my small voice, so we shouted together. Rapunzel! Rapunzel! Let down your hair! And then she heard. As soon as she let her hair down, I borrowed the knight's sword and climbed as fast as I could. When I got to the top, I cut off her plait and we used it as a rope to climb down. And soon we were both safe. The knight was very happy that we'd rescued Rapunzel, and Rapunzel was very happy to be free. 
Little Cook Small to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. Well, mash my spuds. Isn't that a great story? Ooh hee! Thanks, Ben. But does it give us any ideas what to cook, though? Yeah. No, not really. What kind of thing would a knight like to eat? I haven't got a clue. Ooh. Oh! I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Oh, yes, look! The very thing for Norman the Knight's lunch. Pizza shield. And it's a shield just like Norman the Knight had in our story. Yeah! You read out the ingredients, little cook, and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need plain flour. Plain flour? OK. There we go, plain flour. Yep, yeah, got that. A tin of tomatoes. Tomatoes in there. Tomatoes, yep, yeah, got those. Butter. Butter in the fridge. Got the butter. Cheese. Cheese in there as well. Got the cheese. Milk. Oh, milk. Got the lovely milk, yep. Yeah. A pepper. One pepper, there we are. Mushrooms. Mushrooms, lots of mushrooms. There we go, small. And an onion. One onion. All there. Phew! That's a lot of stuff, isn't it? I didn't realise pizzas had so much in them. Oh, yeah. You can make all kinds of different pizzas small, and you can put whatever you like onto a pizza. I'll tell you what, why don't you whiz off and see how they're made? That's a great idea, Ben. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> hey, why don't you come along too? Way! <laughs> Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. There's a train! Choo choo! Oh, I recognise this. I'm in a restaurant. A restaurant that makes pizzas. This dough is going to be used to make the base of the pizza. Whee! Up it goes! Now the base has been made, every pizza has a spoonful of tomato sauce. Then you can add any vegetables or meat you like. This pizza is going to have some peas. That slice is a red onion. What's next? Oh, tomato! And every pizza has cheese on the top. Now the pizza has to be cooked in this big oven. Mmm, smells delicious. Ooh, it's ready, it's ready! Wow, that looks delicious! Everyone gets a slice of pizza. They're really enjoying that. That's made me really hungry. See you later.
<laughs> I'm back, Ben. Oh, it was brilliant. When I saw the cook throw the dough up into the air, it looked like a flying saucer. <laughs> up, <laughs> up and away! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Small, it's cooking time. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles And envelope surprise We love our cafe and we love to cook We have a fantastic recipe book He is big cook and he is small Friends in our cafe we cook for them all When your tummy gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat you can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Pizza Shield? You do. There was plain flour. 200 grams. Butter. 50 grams. Grated cheese. One cup. Milk. Four tablespoons. Tomatoes. One tin. A sweet pepper. A quarter sliced. Mushrooms. Two sliced. And an onion. A half chopped. Me thinkest first one should inflame the range, sire. Eh? What are you talking about, Small? <laughs> That's how they used to talk when knights were around. I was saying we should turn the oven on. Oh, right, Sir Cook. And what temperature, pray, should I set the oven to? 220 degrees Celsius or gas mark 7. Righty ho, my little chum. Tis done. Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you because the oven is hot, hot, hot. And whilst you're there, Ben, I'll grease a baking tray ready to bake the pizza on. Now, we need to make the dough, which is the bready bit at the bottom of the pizza. And to do that, I'm going to use the flour. There we are. And the butter. In it goes. There we go. And now, I'm going to rub them both together, like this. Ooh. How are you getting on, Small? Won't be long. Ah, good. Now, I'm going to mix in the milk. There we are. And give it a good stir. Round and round we go. Nice stir there. And this time, I'm going to knead it gently until it's nice and smooth so we can roll it out. Nearly ready. Right, there we are. Our dough is perfectly rolled now, so let's sprinkle a little bit of flour on the board. And let's roll it out. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop. What are you doing, Small? Whoa there, horsey. So small, the bravest knight in all the land. Horsey, horsey, don't you stop. Just let your feet go clippity-clop. Whoa! <laughs> well, fill it my haddock, if I haven't seen everything now. <laughs> oh. Well, we've just got time to cut the dough into the shape of a shield. Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop, clippity-clop. Whoa there, horsey. Ooh, perfect. Just like a night shield. Now, as soon as Small's ready... Ready! Oh, OK. We can take the greased baking tray and lay the shield on top. There we are. Oh. Now, it doesn't look quite right. Something's missing. Oh, yes. We can divide it up into four with some more of the dough. One there, two there. And the rest is easy. Easy peasy! Now take your tin tomatoes oh, and slosh it over your dough. <laughs> Watch out for those tomatoes, Ben! Oh! <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Small. <laughs> right. All we have to do now is decorate the pizza with the cheese. 
on it goes, all over. A little bit more there. That's nice. Pepper in this corner. Just a few there. Pop that back. Onions in this corner. And mushrooms in this corner. And one more. There we go. And now we pop it into the oven, which I preheated earlier. And then it goes for 15 minutes. Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you because the oven is hot, hot, hot. All clean. I'll set the timer for 15 minutes. There we go. The pizza shields are ready. Oh, look at that small. Mmm, that looks good enough to eat. <laughs> let's hope so. There we are. Now let's see what Norman the Knight thinks. One pizza shield coming through. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet, small. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! <laughs> Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our job Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Hey! It looks like Norman the Knight's enjoyed his pizza shield. But small. He's put his helmet on the plate. How odd. What's he done that for? He's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small. <gasps> Excellent pizza. Now, what I really fancy is a slice of apple pie. Mmm. Big Cook Ben can wear this helmet to stop him getting hurt from the falling apples. Oh, brilliant. I don't think I'd be as frightened if I had this on my head to protect it. I'm going to go and give it a go. Hee <laughs> hee! Looks like apple pie's back on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Bye. Big cook, little cook. Welcome to our cafe.